Hey guys, welcome back into Rover Sports. Um, it's been a little bit of time since I've conducted a, in a video with you guys. I, I've missed y'all. Um, and it is a slow time of year. That is why I'm just kind of waiting to get towards August, of course, and football season. Because when we get to, towards the football season, then we're going to be so, so busy. Um, we're going to be doing film reviews. We're going to be game, doing game plan videos. Um, and, and, and I'm not even going to divulge all that right now because um, basically you're going to see how how much fun it's going to be and and i hope that this channel is going to be enjoyable during those seasons because because right now like there's not a ton of news going out i mean there is a little bit of nba stuff so i might do some nba stuff tonight and then i also might do some coaches rankings you know a little bit of rankings some team preview videos uh this video today is kind of a breaking news video i'm sure my buddy jc has already uh, he might fire one up as well he's a jet guy but a uh, christian Hackenberg today um, was released by Oakland and first thought that crosses my mind is I feel horrible for Christian Hackenberg I feel terrible for this guy he immediately he leaves New York he didn't have great coaches in John Morden and these other guys. And he really hasn't succeeded in football since his freshman year. So I've highlighted the fact that Christian Hackenberg is not that elite of a quarterback. I've highlighted the fact that he has some real glaring holes in his game. That he's very slow in the pocket. His reaction time is poor. The ability of him to be accurate to throw with different levels of touch. I mean, there's not a lot that he brings. I mean, he does bring size. He brings a tiny bit of uh, he brings a tiny bit of a deep ball into play. But the game is a lot more than just a deep ball. He's a decent learner, a good kid. So the fact is, is that John Gruden liked Hackenberg. He believed in Hackenberg from the Gruden camp days. And the reason I'm upset is because I think Gruden promised Hackenberg a bill of goods. Basically like, Hack, you know, you're my guy. Uh, you're going to be on this team for a little while. You're going to help contribute to the Oakland Raiders. You're going to be a backup. You're going to learn. You're going to enjoy playing football for a couple of years behind Derek Carr. And you're going to compete with Connor Cook. And, I, and maybe E.J. Manuel is there, although I think Manuel might have gone somewhere else. The point is about Hackenberg is that I'm upset that John Gruden quit on Hackenberg this early in the process. I mean, because everybody in their lives has tried to go to a new job and has tried to pick up a system and they have struggled with learning a new system. I mean, Hackenberg, he needed to travel all the way from New York to, to Oakland. He's never been out on the West Coast before. And I'm gonna read more into this, but if he was struggling, why would you cut a guy 14 days after getting him? Why don't you give the guy an opportunity an opportunity to pick up the system and learn his work. You, you, I thought that the switch here, pulling the switch on Christian Hackenberg was too, too short. Um, I, I think that it was inappropriate. It was frustrating to hear the news today about Hackenberg because again, we all root for a lot of guys to be treated fairly, to be given opportunities, and to not even play preseason football, to not even have a month to be in California to learn the offense. It just seems like John Gruden dogged Christian Hackenberg. The look is horrible. It seems like Reggie McKenzie and John Gruden are not on the same page at all. Why bring the guy in at all if you're gonna relieve him of his duties within a week? why it just i think that you duped christian hackenberg i think that you treated him wrongly in this case because you did not give the guy a fair sample size to prove his work even if he had a terrible couple of weeks wait till you get to a game and could there be a bigger story could hackenberg have told gruden that football is not for me I'm almost ready to retire. I don't enjoy playing the game of football. That is very possible. Could John Gruden, in an ultimate twist, 
saw Christian Hackenberg as too much of a threat to Derek Carr's reign? And could Hackenberg have been playing so well that Derek Carr and everybody was worried that Derek Carr's ego would be hurt? Because you don't want your backup quarterback to be that highly skilled. That's also a possibility. So could Hackenberg have told Gruden, thank you, but this just isn't for me. I don't like the culture here of, of being out here in Oakland. It's really far from Virginia. It's far from my family. You know, the players on the Oakland Raiders, they certainly have personality and attitude. There's guys that have been suspended for the drug policy there for the Oakland Raiders. So it is definitely a tough, hard-nosed culture with guys that are talented. And then there's also some guys that also need to be more serious if they're going to be very, very productive players. It's a talented roster, but it's not maybe the most you know, roster that hasn't gotten in trouble. I'm just going to say that about the Oakland Raiders and their NFL team. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm sure Jet fans are going to be laughing today at Christian Hackenberg. I don't think it's funny. I feel bad for the guy's career. I think that in New York with the New York Jets, John Morton was a pretty terrible offensive coordinator. The guy before that didn't really help Hackenberg. He was kind of thrown in early. He wasn't really developed. I think the guy does have some skills that you could try to bring out of him. Um, I think that his, his learning curve to get better is maybe steeper than others, but I always look at guys and I always try to get them better. And just simplifying the game for Hackenberg, um, I think that John Gruden would have been a good guy, a guy who pays attention to quarterbacks. I was excited about the fit. In New York, he was kind of all on his own. Todd Bowles is not a coach that's going to help out the offensive side of the ball, and he was there with Bryce Petty, McCown, and uh, – yeah, it's, it's tough, man. I don't know if any spot's going to really be good, if anybody's going to have the patience to deal with Hackenberg any longer. But he's a good kid, and we'll see how motivated he is to get back into the NFL landscape and everything. It's a sad story. I wish that they would have given him a real opportunity. I was looking forward to seeing Hack and John Gruden there together. It said it's sad. Jets fans might be laughing. They might feel validated that Hackenberg gets cut. I'm sure some people in the media will poke fun at Christian Hackenberg, but I'm, a, I'm amongst the opinion that I kind of feel sorry for this kid that he already is jobless again in just two weeks. Thanks for watching Rover Sports. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and we will be getting back to you with more videos. It's good to see you all again. Take care.